we'll get our opinions uh, overall of the nine more Super Mario sets as uh, uh, Timmy O'Hanlon has brought up over here from Brick Set. So uh, the first one here, I guess we can talk about the character packs. I was shocked opening up that package and I'm like, what? Yes, Same. no, exactly. It's like, it, it's rare that you're like, oh, this is so much more value than I expected. From yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, I, I think these are an amazing value. Like, I would take these over a mini fig pack any day because like you get... Obviously, the amazing character, which is also brick built. None of these are like lame prefab things. Like, yes, there are a lot of prefab elements in some of them, but they're necessary. Um, and then to have just a little bit of scenery and getting a couple of additions to be able to add to your Lego Super Mario levels, it's yeah, just mind boggling. I, I couldn't believe it. Which one did you get, Nick? I can't remember from the, the para Goomba. Yeah, yeah. Para he said, Oh, it's the flying Goomba. Listen, Nick, you got to be professional here. Know all the names verbatim, okay? <sighs> Here's the one. Uh, here's the one I got. This is the uh, the fuzzy. It's called right, yes. Brian. Yes, nice. that is my least favorite Mario enemy. I I hate them in Paper so Mario. It comes <laughs> down like that, and then you you land. Oh, that's that. amazing! Look at that, boom. <laughs> and the great thing about these packs, they're they're perfectly designed for you to get a buttload of them. So you don't need to just get one of everything if you didn't want to. A lot of the Lego minifigure series, like I said in the review video, you know, you get one of them and that's about it. Only a few of them could be, you know, littered throughout your Lego city or whatever. But these ones here, there's plenty of Mario enemies throughout the entire, uh, any level, whenever. So I think there's, for some people, more value in potentially buying six of these and adding to your play in your Mario level, as opposed to the Piranha Plant Slide or something like that, depending on what you want out of the level. So if you're going for all, you know, water level, you're going to get a ton of the the urchins. You're going to get a lot of the blooper and, and really deck out your level that way. So there's a lot of variety there and you can still feel these packs pretty well. I knew I got a Buzzy Beetle before opening it uh, and it still seems like every uh, every single figure here has a unique thing that you can feel out like the coral yeah. on the blooper. Yeah, a whole bunch of things so like even just having looked at the characters individually at first because that's all we knew about them i had figured out like i'm and i've been doing minifig feeling for many many years having worked at the lego store like brian like it was determinable that you could do this with yeah. just the characters but now knowing that they all have individual pieces as well it's going to make it substantially more like easier to figure out you know which pack you got in your hands so in that and you're looking at like when I first opened it, I'm like, oh, are these other characters on the front? And they are. So you're not, you don't have to look up a list or be like, oh, what piece am I looking for again? You can see it all on there. So it yeah. works out well. Mm -hmm. And going back into future prediction mode real quick, uh, Brian, with those, those characters. Uh, so the, these are kind of a lot of the, the smaller, like side, side enemy, sure. that sort of thing you have here. So outside of what they've shown so far, what uh what types of you know characters from the mario games would you say would fit well in this sort of line yeah so you're not going to get any character specific you know bomb bomb variants so i'm thinking like you know bombette from paper mario you're not going to get things like that they're going to be very general enemies uh and you're not going to see things like a paracoupa because that's a bigger build that's probably going to be in a set you know but we haven't seen like we see the red shell and the spiny here but not in the koopa form so you could still take some of these pieces in and, you know, mess with them a little bit. Um, off the top of my head, in terms of basic enemies, um, that would that would constitute it being a blind bag build. It wouldn't be a hammer, bro. Uh, a cheap, cheap, but you do get those in a couple other sets. Um, none that are super vanilla like these are. A lot of these have been around for years and years and years. So, you know, if they come out with some more obscure characters or, you know, more recent things i could yeah. see that but i think for here like this is a solid solid lineup unless you get real crazy so i do think it's really important to note that the bag does say series one on it so yeah. that obviously shows potential for future series um brian my only other thought would be maybe instead of something like more focused on the characters do you think there would be potential for them to give you elements of the map that would kind of add on to your levels like more of like a level add-on pack rather than a character add-on pack I mean, I think that's what a lot of those packs um, like the Piranha Plant slide are. So in terms of that form factor, it being a $5 thing you grab off of the one of those racks that is not a set itself, I don't think you could pack in enough pieces to make okay. it worth $5 um, okay. because then you're going to go $10 like for the um, the suits and whatnot. 
Gotcha. So yep. I, I think there's enough. And, and like even in the starter pack and a couple other sets, there's a, a couple extra pieces in there that you can mess with. Mm -hmm. But it's important to note, like those connection pieces don't have printing on them. They're not specific. So if anything, you would see maybe uh, uh, purple platforms for the poison levels or light blue for clouds or something like that before you saw a small pack like that for exclusively yeah. level play. Yeah. Sounds good. So let's see. What was the next uh, set down here? Guarded Fortress. Oh, yeah. So excited for this one. <laughs> that piranha mechanic is really dope, man. I oh my gosh, is it ever. I remember yeah. uh, Jonathan demoing that for us during the, the event and so, so impressive. Totally. Yeah, I, I love this. And it totally makes sense that, you know, it's not designed for you to go through the castle. You don't go through the castle in Super Mario Brothers. Um. I like that they have the Mario flagpole as opposed to the Bowser one. So before you complete a level, it has the Bowser printing. And then, you know, once you complete it, it turns to Mario. So now you get that Mario one there. I think there could have been an opportunity for a para uh, Koopa in a red shell here instead of just another Koopa. But, you know, there's, you know, always more stuff in the works. Uh, I love the lava detail leading up to the castle. It's a bit spiky. So you can see it's not just a plain red, you know, uh, like plates going through there. And obviously the bomb mom is another great addition, but yeah, the highlight is the pow block, the piranha plant play functionality and uh, the castle, obviously for 50 bucks, this is a more in line price to part ratio yeah. than some of the other sets, but, exactly. and it's, and this is important to Mario as well. A lot of these sets are, you know, original works, but, and inspired by Lego, this is straight out of super Mario brothers. So it works well. And for anyone who's wondering, the piranha plant, what it does is, I believe it's it's either, I think it was on a chain, if I'm not correct. Yeah, it, so you can see it in the top right. It's like connected by those Technic links. So it's Yeah, kind of the Technic links, that's what it is. Yeah. And so what you actually need to do is take Mario, bounce on the little gray part just in front of it, and that launches the piranha. And your goal is to get it into the warp pipe, like put him back inside. Uh, so what a creative way to kind of, you know, express kind of something that you do in the game. So super duper awesome. Yeah, and it's a lot harder than you think. So uh, that's a, a cool play functionality there. Uh, Jeff, real quick, is asking in the chat, the flagpole is really tiny compared to Mario. Will it support the plumber? Uh, I actually did that for a photo uh, just to take a picture of it, and it definitely bends because that's just a typical, uh, I don't know, is that like a hose piece? Is that technically what it's called? or uh, Flex tube. Flex tube flex is what it's mostly known as. Yeah, so it, it's not designed to hold Mario. It's not like a stiff you know, a uh, pole that you would see like that what's connecting the clouds at the top there. So it'll hold them, but I wouldn't leave it for like five hours. Cause yeah, it'll, it'll bend eventually. He's Mario's Mario's the thick boy. He needs to get that planet fitness black card and uh, work <laughs> out a little, but you know, he's... <laughs> and this is for people who weren't here earlier. I believe this is the set with, uh, as Justin pointed out, the new Brown color, correct? Yes. The nougat, right? Okay. Wait, which nougat is new here? I'm actually, so I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> What one of the one of these brown colors is new, but yeah, I, I'm not sure which one. I just frankly did hurt. not find anything that showed me any signs of anything being new color wise. <laughs> and you are the professional Lego builder out of like all of us. I pulled up pictures because he, he mentioned it was in like the Mickey and Minnie, and I went and looked, and I like I couldn't find a new brown there. I might be missing something. Jonathan certainly seemed to be asking about it, so um, I'm if, very if curious. He, but if he had to ask about it, but you know that's saying something. But yeah. It's cool. We'll figure that one out for a future video. Yeah. Right. The Desert Pokey here. Uh, set number 71363. Uh, Monty Mole, shout out the homie. Uh, I believe Monty, Monty Mole. Mole, he shows up in a promotional set as well. Uh, so this is your typical way to get him in a $20 set. Uh, the Pokey play functionality there is great. Just like from the games, you got to take out each of the, the segments from the Pokey. And I'm glad that translated well to Lego form. Uh, Pokey are typically pretty round, but it still looks good. And it's 180 pieces. So for anyone who cares about that price to part ratio, you still got uh, a good value there regardless. So that'll go well with the Piranha Plant slide or whatever else you got. Uh, that face print uh, on the mole, is it? Is it the mole? Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That face print is uh, is hilarious. I don't know something about that. It's just yes. <laughs> yes. He, he, this is a, he's a small one. So uh, yeah, that's great. And yeah, the pokey printing looks great too. It, it's a very nice little succinct set. 
So, and you I mean, can get a, you get a couple of those too. If you, I mean, you get that, that's the, the other thing about this line. Most of them you could get multiple of them to combine them and make something real crazy. But uh, yeah, I, I like this one a lot. And in that same vein, uh, coming up soon is the Womp, uh, not Fortress, but it's a Womp set in the same idea. Twenty bucks. So. Yeah, I gotta say, I, I'm like really excited to just get a feel of that mechanism, like in person, because like the Prana Power Plant slider, for example, or the Prana Plant Power Slide, um, uh, I think is like one you'll look at and you're like, oh, that looks neat. But like just getting to play with it firsthand just makes such a big difference with so many of these. Um, so yeah, this looks like an, a really another super duper fun one. So totally. And yeah, that's the one I was talking about before. The Womp's Lava Trouble. Uh, I'm a Womp guy because of Mario 64, so that's cool. Uh, you get a little lava guy. I don't know his name, so that's when Nick gives me heat because I don't know the name of that enemy for me giving him heat on the other one. Uh, and there's obviously the Koopa shell there, which is something I wanted to implement into my level, but I just didn't find an organic way to do that. So they clearly have the ability to, you know, it's within the system of Super Mario to have, like, not every single you know, enemy shell or anything needs to have that uh, pre-applied sticker on there. So this is uh, just another good supplementary set. You get the P block and uh, this works well in the same way that the Pokey does. The Pokey has a more unique play functionality, but this still has uh, a good value to it here. How do you, you defeat the, uh, the Womp to get the P block? Does it? Yeah. So in, in, in the universe, you walk up to the Thwomp or, the womp rather uh the womp and he'll kind of face plant in front of you once he face plants you you boop his back and you're you're done oh, okay yeah so yeah there's that one uh that's an expansion set so the boomer bill barrage we've already been very familiar with you get the mushroom the boomer and the shy guy so that's pretty cool and then uh mario's house 205 pieces i believe this is a 30 dollar set so if you want to have mario take a nice little relaxing uh, nap there underneath the tree. Go for it. Uh, definitely has some inspiration from Paper Mario on the N64, as Justin said before. Um, maybe not 100% directly, but definitely the 2.5D uh, works here. Uh, Mario doesn't typically have a house in any other game besides that series. So there you go. And obviously the main draw is Yoshi. Uh, Yoshi is more of an interactive thing rather than a rideable uh companion friend for mario so uh, any yoshi fans out there will appreciate the brick built yoshi which works really well uh with all things considered with the printing so uh good stuff here as well yeah i definitely think it would have been a big miss for lego not to have yoshi right off the bat so very yeah. very awesome to totally see him come to life toad's treasure hunt we've obviously seen that really cool like it a lot uh, and there's the Thwomp drop. So this is, do we know the price on this one? Uh, if it says it right there or no, probably I think it was not. $39.99. If or, yeah, 40. So yeah, 393 pieces. Uh, this is definitely a companion to the Bowser's castle. If you wanted to go with that, uh, the Thwomp, very iconic Mario enemy in any of these uh, lava theme levels. Uh, obviously great printing there and a, a cool, cool idea with the, the Thwomp drop. Anytime you get multiple enemies or multiple play functions, I'm always a fan of it with these Mario yeah. sets. So you have the little lava buddies dropping down to potentially mess with Mario, the Thwomp, and then you also have the skeleton platforms, which eventually will drop into the abyss of nowhere. So be careful of that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of play functionality here. And if you got that with Bowser's Castle, you're you're working really well. Yeah, that'll make for a really nice combination between those for sure. Mm. Uh, King Boo and the Haunted Yard. Ooh, this one, when I saw it, so just so everyone knows, uh, when I was looking at these sets, uh, I, ha I had the sets for a couple of days. I think we all did before we had our chance at the app. So the instructions are obviously in the app. So once I saw the app and it had all of these sets in here, like I got my hands on the app two weeks ago. So mm -hmm. I was like, huh, what? No idea that these existed. Yeah, so, that was our, like everybody's first time getting to know that there were going to be way more sets than we had. Yeah. Kind of thought, so. so me seeing the, the King Boo Haunted Yard, I was like, all right, they're going to go into the ghost levels. Cool. Uh, this is a retailer exclusive from what we know. We don't know where 
But yeah, uh, keep that in mind in case you want to, but you can still get it on the Lego website. Uh, King Boo, uh, you know, if you told me they were going to do Boo in Lego form, I'd be like, how are you going to pull off the, the roundness? And plot twist, the answer is you don't. You just make it a cube <laughs> and call it a day. And you know what? It works. It totally it does. works. And that's that Lego charm. That's yep. what makes it work. And, you know, all the little details here, and it, it sticks out so much more than any of the other sets when I'm looking at them. So mm -hmm. I can't wait to get my hands on this. It's 50 bucks. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven enemies in that one. That's pretty good. I'm Absolutely. seeing a, a lot of Goombas popping up in these sets. Is, do you feel like that's kind of the the kind of base enemy that will be included in a lot of them? It seems like you'll like if you bought all the sets, you would end up with the most of those of, of all the uh, all the enemies. Yeah, I mean that just makes the most sense between that and Koopa. Yeah, that's the Goomba you can litter anywhere and just add a little more difficulty to anything. But um, yeah, and, and it depends on the environment as well. And like I did in my level with the Goomba stack, that is a very common thing that happens. So if you want to stack them all up and have them in different, you know, or specific places, it adds a lot more challenge because there's nothing connecting those Goomba together. So if you want to do a flawless run. You have to make sure that the Goomba stack doesn't fall over, which happened plenty of times. Luckily, in the championship, it did not. So uh, uh, that's how very, yeah, very, very careful to not do that. So that adds a little more difficulty there if you stack them up. If you just toss them anywhere. Eh. Kevin's coming into the chat and hating on. Uh, hey, King Kevin Boo. doesn't know what he's talking about. Get this <laughs> one out of here. I think All he's right. talking. He said Boo, not King Boo. All right. So. All right. You well, might be talking about this little guy instead, which that is not a boo. That is it's not, not okay. I didn't think it was either. Oh uh, no, yeah. So they, they could still add like boo to like series two. Like there's a okay. lot of enemies yeah. like these guys in here they could add for series two. But I mean, if they were to do it, I'm sure they tested it. And to get like a character like Boo or Kirby or whatever in like a round Lego form without it looking just like mm -hmm, it's tough, unless you make your own pieces. So I uh, yeah. We will see. I'll be curious. I'll be curious yeah. as to what else may come. So that seems to be all of them uh, from what we have seen so far. Uh, the Bowser's Castle, uh, none of us have our hands on, but that is uh, one that we've known about for a while. Uh, mm -hmm. I like the way that Bowser looks just from what I remember here. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see the rest of these obviously goes without saying. And um, we should have our hands on them. Uh, around the time of release so if they don't get it uh to me day one i will be at the lego store day one regardless so uh you'll get that sweet awesome content Hanlon brothers don't you worry <laughs> and you don't even have to give me the money for them i'll take it right out of my own account that's fine <laughs> the so lunch money the lunch money <laughs> yeah there we go <laughs> uh, so, I was curious. so the boomer bill barrage i tried to find a reference to boomer bill anywhere yeah Is that a new character uh, th there's all sorts of different, uh, bullet bill type characters. There's mm -hmm. bonsai bill. There's like bullet. I bill. Saw that. <laughs> yeah. There's all sorts of things like that. Um, that design itself, I believe is like a style inspired by super Mario world. Okay. Mario world, uh, big bullet bill. It's not called a bonsai bill or a boomer bill, but that like, like that that's kind of? okay. yeah um that's what immediately came to mind kevin in the chat might be a better eye for that but that it's just like a torpedo bullet torpedo ted what torpedo ted he just threw it in chat oh there we go well torpedo ted is underwater i don't know if these are underwater you know they are on the water yeah, yeah they're all in the water so that was that, does kind of, that might actually link it up and make make it make sense <laughs> torpedo ted um, not well, those, those look different. They have a bit more, uh, squinty eyes with the propeller. So I don't know, I don't know, Kevin, just saying, just saying. I think but, Lego uh, took some creative liberties with this one in particular. Yeah. And, and the Piranha Plant slide, you know, hey, oh yeah. You're just tossing out obscure bill names. Yeah. And there's plenty of them too. So okay, like, yeah, yeah. The Piranha Plant slide, there's nothing there. So, and you know, this could be something they come out with in a, a, a new Mario game. Who knows? Yeah. Just, that mechanic though with those it's like i could never get around like more than once without them knocking mario off if you were actually doing it at, like a, a good speed yeah you uh, have to time it perfectly i i found going back and forth was a little more effective like you could force the bills to spin past yep. you 
but not have them hit you. And that seemed to be an effective way to rack up some coins. Yeah, totally. That's true. Yeah, I I have I don't think I tried much just back and forth like that. So totally. 